Hello, Bon Eagle Middle School. This is Mr. Harris, uh, Principal Bon Eagle Middle School, and I'm joined today with my friend, Mr. Curtis. Yeah, Activities and Athletics Director at Bon Eagle High School. And we wanted to share with all of our awesome fans at Bon Eagle about um, some things we've seen lately at games. Uh, it's always been a rule. Every district struggles with the same pieces of, yes. of middle schoolers at high school athletic games. We want them to be there. We want to support our teams. We want to make sure everybody can be safe as well. Um, recently, Mr. Curtis, we've had some students who had to be treated by the EMS agencies at the football games that are there to keep our players safe. Yep. Um, but they were, you know, middle schoolers were running around on a Friday night, tripped over some things, um, skun up their knees, broke open some pieces of their bodies that probably shouldn't be broken open. And, uh, you know, it was a real safety concern. So we want to make sure that everybody gets this message here today um, that we need to just do a better job enforcing the rules that we have. And these rules have been on the books for quite a while. Um, I know I've yeah. been here for eight years. You were here longer. Yeah. yeah, no, the rules have not changed. We still, as Mr. Harris said, we want everybody to attend the games. We just want everybody to be safe. Um, one of the things that we, we need to do a better job of is enforcing that youth students don't come to the games without a parent uh, with them. Prefer not to have a high school age student, uh, high school age sibling bring them uh, because I know as an older, older sibling, if my brother or sister was asked to leave a, a game because they weren't being appropriate and I had to take them home, that ride home might not have been good for my brother or sister. So prefer a parent or another adult bring the youth students to the game. So, Ms. Curse, I just want to be clear that it means that they're at the game. Do the kids have to sit with that adult? No, we don't, no. I mean, kids are kids. We want them up watching the game, moving around. That's fine. Uh, but we just need to minimize um, the things that are happening. Uh, as Mr. Harris said, some safety concerns. Some of the kids are... Um, you know, throwing a football, playing tag around the concession area and bumping into people waiting in line, things like that. The um, Friday night games when it's dark outside, they're throwing balls around. Hit, we've had a few um, bystanders be hit by the ball that the kids were throwing around. Totally incidental. Nobody got hurt in those cases, but there's certainly potential for harm to be done. Yep, there is. Um, so we just asked. And obviously, you know, again, not a new rule. And the kids have been great. When I've asked them to put the ball away, they do. But shouldn't be bringing any balls into the game. Should be coming to watch the teams and support the, the high school athletes on the field. Yeah. So kind of the procedure from here, Mr. <laughs> Curtis, is that if a student comes up to the gate to get in, they need to have an adult with them. Yeah. If I'm coming to the game and I, there's nobody with me, what's going to happen at the gate? We're going to ask them to, to call home and, and go home. Um, we're going to do a better job of enforcing that students come in with an adult uh, yeah. to the game. And again, it's not meant to punish anybody. We want everybody there, just need to be with an adult. Um, and they can go with a friend, uh, mom, dad, that's fine. Um, right just with an adult. Right. Load up the car, load up the SUV, but we need to have an adult there who can take responsibility for those kids if they yeah. need to get treated. Um, there's somebody there that can vouch for them yeah. beyond just a cell phone call to their parents because um, when you're a cell phone call away, that might not, you know, there might not be service yeah. or somebody might not pick up the phones. There needs to be somebody on site that can be responsible and take responsibility for, for that yeah. child. Um, other concerns we've seen is beyond people getting hurt, yeah, so last week in particular, uh, we had a soccer game, the next day a playoff soccer game, uh, and there was a lot of trash at the end of the scoreboard on the outside where, again, typically middle school kids hang out at. There was a lot of trash in the ground. Um, there's plenty of trash buckets over there just asking everybody to, to kind of pick up. Um, you know, our maintenance crews do come in on Saturday mornings and pick up the trash, but they didn't really have a lot of time to pick up all the trash scattered about, so just... Please use the trash cans. We do have other events going on. And we have tons of trash cans around at games. It's just a matter of, you know, take that extra step, put that trash in the trash barrel. We understand that this happens at every school all around, but um, the Bon Eagle pride. We want to be proud of our grounds, of our teams, of our staff, and be respectful. So we want to make sure that that stuff is happening. Yep. Mr. Curtis, I want to thank you for coming today and sharing this message with with me so that everybody can hear it from both of us as a unified force um, and make sure that kids are coming to games. We want them there, but we want them to have an adult with them who can be responsible for them as well. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Have a great day, Bonnie Eagle.